What is up everyone, Knights here and welcome to a brand new live reaction and review. Today I'm very excited to say that we are acting Acting? We're re reacting and reviewing DJ Snake's latest EP, Carte Blanc. I've pronounced that so wrong. I'm not French, I'm a Londoner. So yeah, we're gonna be reacting to this album today and I'm hecka excited. One thing I'm not excited about, well I am, because it's 17 tracks, but I'm also not because it's 17 tracks, because that will take me hours and 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 hours, and hours, and hours to edit and I'll probably regret it. But I am a huge fan of DJ Snake, as some of you actually don't know, he has released some amazing tracks and I have a lot of respect for him for quite a few reasons. One, he is super cool with his fans. Like I always see him replying to fans and retweeting fans and he's huge, like huge. Two, as huge as he is and as much as he makes those mainstream radio hits he still isn't scared to do heavy hard-hitting bangers songs like propaganda um his collab uh, pigal with moxie uh south side of eptic a song on this album with zomboy quiet storm i mean there's probably so many more for made in china there's so many more i'm forgetting um even though he has that amazing mainstream sound he isn't scared to go into the darker side of electronic music and that more heavier side and I really really rate him for that because it takes balls to be that big and still do something which is evidently not as huge as some of these things I mean a song with Moxie isn't going to make him millions and millions like a song with um, Major Lazer did with Lean On or you know like Taki Taki like these they're such huge hits and he's still keeps it real to this day and makes us more harder hitting, darker electronic music. I just can't wait to delve into this. Most excited for the collab with Zombo, obviously. Then I'd say Zoo, it would be epic, but I've already heard that. Apologies for the fan noise in the background. The heat wave is still on. Today it hit uh, just over 100 Celsius, so it's bloody hot. We're gonna get to the first track of the LP, just by DJ Snake, titled The Butterfly Effect. Nice, slow, calming intro. This sounds interesting. This is really, really pretty. I can't wait to see all the unique sounds in this LP. It's gonna be so sick. Oh, lovely. That's like epic. It's almost emotional. Nice intro to the LP. Not much to say about it. It was a cool trap ish type of drop. Um, fairly emotional type of song. I mean, it kind of hit, got me a bit emotional, I don't know why. Probably wouldn't add it to my playlist, but it's an intro, so. Cool, I'm very surprised that he's got the Zomboy collab straight into the LP. You think like, as people play through this LP, especially like the the, the radio mainstream listeners, they wouldn't want to hear Zomboy collab straight away, but I want to hear Zomboy collab straight away. So we're gonna to go to the second track of the LP titled Quiet Storm. Already a really nice, exciting, boppy vibe. Zomboy hasn't always done dubstep, I mean, He's done a few karma songs, so I wonder what it'll be like. So excited! Let's go! Woo! Woo! Oh! Woo! Classic zombie growls there. Oh! Love that bit! Are we already going into another drop? I'm a trap! Oh, this is sick. Wow. That was so hype. That first drop was so exciting and boppy, but keeping those heavy growls every now and then. And then that change up with the more trappish hybrid trap heavier drop. So, so sick. This is exactly what you, what you want from a DJ Snake and a Zomboy collab. Also, the vocals and the, the, the upbeat pitch works so well. Ooh. Woo! Woo! So gas! I absolutely love that track. You can probably see by the excitement and a huge ass smile on my face. It was just so exciting, so hype. I summed it up all before. So much fun. Cool, we're gonna go to the third track of the LP titled When the Lights Go Down. Nice exciting intro. Ooh! Nice, a bit of future and trap. That was a pretty cool drop. Wasn't amazing, but I kind of like that more happy summery type of vibe. Kind of like that nice hybrid trap infused with the future. It worked quite nice. Not a fan of these like vocals, I guess you'd call them. That's nice. Woo! 
very nice and kind of summery. I know this is going to be such a summer vibes LP. Had a nice vibe. Would have wished for a bit more variation on the second end of the second drop, um, but it was nice. Not a fan of these vocals too much. I've never really loved those high pitched type of vocals, but it works for this type of song. Let's go to the fourth track of the LP titled Recognize, featuring Majid Jordan. Nice vibe intro. So this is going to be a bit more vibey or garagey. Nice vocals. I haven't heard this guy before, but it's got a nice voice. That's really nice. Hey! Oh, that's sick. That's beautiful, man. Oh, I love that. That was really nice. I really did enjoy that drop. Very subtle, yet it had a huge effect. I really like the vocalist, to be honest. It's really nice. We've got such a cool vibe to this track. Really enjoyed that track. Classic DJ Snake, to be honest, like I expected from this LP. And really nice, he's going for this sort of feel as well. It works so well. It's just classic, summery, boppy vibe. I probably would add that to my more chilled playlist. It's just a nice, boppy track. Proper, like I've said so many times, a summer tune. Next, we're gonna go to the club. Club, I'm probably second most looking forward to, which is featuring Zoo. Zoo is an amazing artist, man. Some of the songs he's released are just unbelievable. So I'm very excited to see what these two cook up together. Classic, nice. Oh, that is so sick. Oh, this is so vibey. Love that guitar in the background as well, man. Such a cool track. Beautiful drop, man. Like, so nice. I love these vocals as well, man. They're classic zoo. These vocals are so nice. Nice. Oh, that is so sick. A beautiful collab between these two. I, this is just what I wanted and it's just what I got. It's Zoo's classic, eerie, mysterious vibes with DJ Stakes a bit more summery vibes. It kind of, it's sick because it really does blend their styles with Zoo's like muffly type of eerie style but while keeping that like guitar and that more upbeat feel to the track, it's very very nice. Perfect collab by these two, like loved it. Cool, next we're gonna go to the track titled Made in France, which is by the French boys, DJ Snake, Charmy, Marla, and Mercer. I'm really excited to see what type of vibes we get from this track. And this is just what I expected. All these guys are just amazing. Have some really, really sick tracks. Ooh, nice. Before we get started, I wanna know one thing. Oh, oh yes. Oh, so gassed. This is sick. That was such a sick drop, man. Really like those deep, wobby type of house feels. Very nice. I wanna know one thing. Oh, sick. Love that. Woo! This bit is so sick. You know what? Every clap from this LP has delivered exactly what I've wanted and nothing less, nothing more. Just like exactly what I've expected is delivered exactly that. Perfect collab between these guys as well. Love that more Deep House vibes. Very, very fun. So far, every track, I've had nothing bad to say about it. Apart from when the lights go down, I would have wished for a bit more like variation in the second drop. They've all been very top notch tracks. Next, we're gonna go to Enzo with Shaq West featuring Offset, 21 Savage, and Gucci Mane, all mainstream artists. I've heard this on the radio a lot, but I've never actually sat aside and listened to the track. Personally, I'm not a fan of this type of rap. I don't like um, a lot of the mainstream, a lot of this mainstream rap. But this is a beat though. Because I've heard it on the radio, I kind of know what I'm getting myself into and what to expect. Sick flow. I couldn't tell you who's rapping right now though. I, I don't know, I don't follow these guys. Definitely prefer the first rapper compared to this guy, but this guy's still decent. Oh, that bit was sick. Woo! I can't complain, all the guys have had good flow and like, a good vocals. Yeah, decent tune. I knew most of it anyway, because I've heard it before. Sick trap beat in the background. Classic mainstream track, just good. Fans of rap, you're gonna love this. It's got huge, three huge names on it. I think they're all, oh, four huge names on it. I think they're all huge at least, because I've seen the names before and I don't follow them. So I'm gonna assume they're huge. Decent sound of track. Again, not my type of vibe, like these, these type of rap songs aren't. But I mean, I can see it appealing to people. Next one, I'm gonna go to Smile featuring Bryson Tiller. Haven't heard of Bryson Tiller. Oh, the background sounds sick. 
Ooh. These are the type of vocals I'm not a huge fan of, um, but I know a lot of people are, but they're not for me personally. Love the drums though and the cymbal crashes, they're really nice. Cool track, like I said before, I can see the appeal to some people. I really like this bit, it's really nice and vibey. And because of that, I might add it to my chill playlist, because it has a nice, boppy, fun vibe to it. Very summery again, um, but like I said, I'm not a fan of the vocals personally, but I can see the appeal to some people. Production-wise, it's DJ Snake. You're gonna expect the best, and it's very nice. Next, we're gonna go to Try Me featuring Plastic Toy. Love these, they're very nice. Oh, wow. That is so sick. That was a beautiful drop, man. I really enjoyed that, that vibe to it. I'm expecting the second drop to be more or less the same. Love these snares as well, they're very nice. Nice, exciting build. Oh, nice. That's really nice, man. So nice and chilled while keeping that more upbeat edm -y vibe. Very nice. Another great song by DJ Snake featuring Plastic Toy. I've never heard of personally, uh, but if he's got songs like this, I will definitely go check him more, check them out. I don't know who he or she is. Uh, I enjoyed that track. There's not much to say about it. It just had a nice vibe to it. The drop was very nice and mellow, but it, it was mellow enough to still keep me reeled in because even the build and the drop and the vocals are really nice in itself. So it's just a nice vibey song that you can kind of just, just get with. Next, we're gonna go to Loco Contigo featuring J Balvin and Tiger, two big names again. Again, I'm not a fan of these guys, but I know their names because my my I know friends and family who are huge fans of these guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really vibing with this right now. I went for a phase of listening to What What by Dylan Francis a lot, so Moomba type feel. Woo! Ian, where you at, bro? Can you translate this for me? Nice. I didn't really think English rapping would work in this, but it does to be honest. The vibe throughout this track is just sick, man. It's one of those proper, like, even though it's very mainstream, that kind of Moomba vibe is very nice. Nice track. Again, not much to say. I've summed up mostly before. The produ production behind it is on another level. J Balvin and Tiger. I enjoyed them both, to be honest. Um, not normally huge fans of these guys, but they both killed it on this song, to be honest. I really do like Spanish vocals sometimes. Like I said, the What What album by Dylan Francis was lots of fun. I enjoyed nearly every track on that. So I think I've kind of loved, started to learn and love them more from that LP. Just a good, nice, chilled out vibey song. Nice one to play with friends, you know, who aren't into heavier music. Just a um, nice summer tune once again. Next we're gonna go to Taki Taki, which I'm sure you guys have heard of. I don't need to react to this too much because I've heard it hundreds of times on the radio and it's in shops and everything. It's vibey, like, I would never sit here and put it on, but like, It's just so vibey, like, I would never actually sit there and put it on, but it's such a vibey song, like, I'm not fans of Selena Gomez, Cardi B, or Azuna I've never heard of, but the track itself is so boppy and vibey, you can't help but move and dance. I heard this when I was out one night with friends, and it gets everyone vibing, man. It's just one of those tracks. As much as all this controversy around Cardi B, I think she's a very good rapper. Selena Gomez is just average, like she's a good singer. I summed up mainly before, vibey, fun, boppy, one when you're out partying with mates, just a nice track. Next we're gonna go to Fuego with Sean Paul, Anita and Tiny or Tiny. I'm not a huge fan of Sean Paul to be honest and I know I'll trigger a lot of people by saying that. He's got a cool flow and all that, I'm just not a huge fan of him. He's the same on every track. Okay, that is sick. I was just about to say I'm not enjoying this track that much because it's nothing that appeals to me. But that drop, that is so sick. Not a fan of the vocals too much on this, but the drop itself was so nice that it kind of can keep me reeled in. Yeah, that's really, really sick. That nice, muffly trap. That works really well. Probably one of my least favorites from the LP so far though. It's nice and vibey. I'm just not a huge fan of these vocalists. But the track itself is very nice, very mainstream, but pretty fun. Next, we're gonna go to a song just with DJ Snake titled Magenta Rhythm. I'm sure I've heard this somewhere and I can't put my... Oh yeah, I have heard this. 
It's a classic Moomba track. I don't know where though. Has he released it a long time ago? That was super nice, that whole kind of build. Even though it's build, built to a build down. Oh, that is so sick. This almost sounds like um, Get Low a lot. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that um, more like, I don't know what the instrument is or what the sound is, but that, all I can say is whistle. Um, but the Moomba trap drop itself is very nice. I don't know how much I listen to that one to be honest, just because there's not too much that appeals to me, but the vibe itself and that Moomba trappy vibe is nice and fun. This one sounds so vibey already. This sounds sick, man. Wow, how's this gonna drop? So bassy as well. This is such a high build. Oh, mid tempo. Oh, nice. This bit is so vibey, man. I wasn't loving that drop too much, and I like a bit of mid tempo. It was mid tempo, right? But this bit is so boppy and vibey. I love it. This build is classic, man. It's so sick. I do hope there's a bit of a change up on the second drop, not gonna lie. Probably because I didn't love the first drop so much. Love that. Br br break it down. I love that sample. Oh my god, that was lovely. Oh wow. Okay, that was sick. Oof. Oh my god, that noise. Okay, I actually love that song, scrap it. When it first dropped on that, this is pretty cool, but that whole vibe throughout the whole track is unreal sick. Surprisingly, one of my favorite tracks from the OP. Just so vibey and that drop was so sick, especially that change up on the second end. Even though there wasn't so much change up, it was so perfect and just so hype. And ended with piano, wow. Next, we're gonna to go to Southside featuring Eptic. Like I said, I've already reacted to this song. I will just add in the reaction now. I'm so damn excited to finally listen to DJ Snake and Eptic's collab titled Southside. If I recall right, it had Fat Man Scoop in it as well. But um, man, I'm so excited. I love Eptic. His style is amazing. That's the DJ Snake intro, as we've all come to know and love. This is sounding very similar to the leak. It wasn't a leak, it was from live sets. Oh man, I'm so gassed! <laughs> That's all I've heard, I haven't heard anything now. Woo! <laughs> Not the trap in the background. I always love that sound effect. Great first drop, very, very fast pace. It is a good collab. It's so random to have DJs take a lipstick together. Like, I would have never thought of this. It weirdly blends so well. And you can definitely tell it's a collaboration. It's not like songs where one DJ does lots. There is mixes of both of them in it. But this is very DJ State rem reminiscent. The first part of the drop is very epic like and then the second drop is second trappy bit, very DJ State like I am hoping there's a bit of a change up on the second drop. I'm sure these two won't disappoint. I'd be very surprised if it's the first, if it's the same drop. <laughs> bit disappointing that the second drop was more or less the same as the first drop. Thought knowing these two producers, they'd have a bit of a switch up. But I mean, it's fine, it's still a great song. Really, really fast beat, vibes to it. Love epic style, mix and fuse with DJ Snake. It really brings for a great song. Now we're going to No Option featuring Burner Boy. Liking these reggae vibes. Nice vibe to this. And I'm actually enjoying the vocals, they're pretty nice. Ooh. That is sick. Ooh. I was not expecting that at all, and it just, oh, love that. That was a very, very nice drop, very enjoyable, and I'm really enjoying these vocals now. Now that I know what's coming and the type of vibe of the song, they're lots of fun. Oh, sick. Oof, that bit is so high. Really, really nice song. I love this outro as well. So vibey, so fun, great vocals as well, and a great drop. Such a cool vibe for that whole song. 
Beautiful, loved it. We're gonna go to the last track of the EP titled Paris. Of course, we're gonna end on a side title Paris featuring Gashi or Gashi, however you pronounce it. Nice vocals. Oh, nice. I was wondering what the vibe of the song would be, and now I know. Oh, nice. That's really nice. And I'm actually really enjoying the, well, not the vocals as much, but the meaning and the lyrics behind the vocals are very nice. Kind of sounds like DJ Six Anthem. Very nice and slow, even though it has a nice heavy trap vibe. That's really nice, man. I really actually enjoyed that track. I didn't think I would when the vocals kicked in. When a trap started kicking in as well, I was like, wow, that's impressive. And then the actual drop itself came, and that was lots of fun. A very nice, vibey, low-key type of hype song. Another perfect track for summer. I keep imagining driving in the car, listening to these type of tracks. So, all of that is it. 17 songs of the Carte Blanche. Blanc. Cart I'm just gonna say it how my dumbass London British artist would say it. Carte Blanche, Blanche. I know it's like Blanche or whatever. There's no accent, so I can't work with anything. I love that LP, man. Actually, more than I thought I would. Would have enjoyed a few more darker electronics tracks, um, but still, all in all, a very nice, enjoyable LP. Even the ones I didn't think I'd like, I really enjoyed. And even the such a mainstream songs like Taki Taki, Fuego, I still enjoyed quite a bit. The ones that surprised me, Frequency 75, uh, Try Me, Made in France. Actually, I, I was expecting Made in France to be good. And Paris itself, that was such a surprising track. Um, a very, very lovely LP. I'm so happy that that LP delivered. I've actually been waiting for this LP for such a long time. Um, I've been waiting, waiting to see when it was released. There's so many huge names on this. It's just great. It is one of those perfect summer albums. I mean, this is going to be the album that people are bopping to and jamming to throughout all of summer it's one of those L L lps as well which will just last such a long time like for a very very long time very enjoyable very fun very boppy vibey summery happy just a great sounding lp and i love that it also had those heavier influences of like quiet storm uh, that more darker with no more that wacky with Southside, frequency 75 very wacky as well i mean nearly every single one of those tracks i'll be adding to my playlist to be honest it was just um, very very fun a few of the songs I would have wished for a bit more variation on the second end of the drop because of the type of drops I understand why there wasn't definitely check this LP out if you haven't already I'm sure you have already but if you haven't check it out all in all I'm gonna give this LP an 8 out of 10 I really really enjoyed all the summer vibes on that all the fun heavy vibes and all the darker vibes on that just lots of fun in the LP just a bit of everything for everyone there so do go bop to this EP it's uh, LP sorry it's lots and lots of fun so just so that we are done with the video thank you guys so much for watching sorry it's a bit of a long one it's just because i have got 17 tracks to review too and so much to say about this um it's bound to be a bit long again you can follow my socials in the description down below or join our discord if you want to thank you guys so much for watching as always lots of love and i will catch you guys in the next video peace out have a great day evening night whatever it is see you later